Hey guys, JDR Exospace here. We are back with more from the Reddit whistleblower story. All right, so you've been following my channel already. You already know this molecular biologist or someone claiming to be a molecular biologist has come forward anonymously on a Reddit thread and posted what appears to be a very detailed and articulate thread about his research and study on alien bodies in the early 2000s. Now, this time I wanted to take a little bit of a different track and I wanted to focus specifically on the skeptics in my comment section. Is this story crafted by ChatGPT and just a total hoax? In this video, I want to get into a couple of reasons why I don't think that's the case, but I want to prove it to you by trying to recreate this story through ChatGPT. So let's take a look. All right, so we'll start off pretty basic. Write me a story from the perspective of a whistleblower coming forward anonymously to describe his research on aliens in a top secret lab. While this is loading, I just want to say I've used ChatGPT pretty extensively and I've found that it's it's very good at creating outlines, but it's very bad at mirroring my writing style or mirroring the writing style of someone I'm trying to imitate. And it's very bad at giving new, like creating new information. So it's basically pulling everything from the internet and combining all of that stuff into this jumbled mishmash and then trying to recreate something that sounds original, but it's not, it hasn't really perfected it yet. So let, let's take a look at what it's come up with. For years, I toiled away in this top secret lab. My day is consumed by endless experiments, clandestine meetings of classified data. Uh, in the bowels of the lab, hidden from prying eyes, we held captive beings, not of this world. So it's getting a little bit artistic here, and that's not the tone that this person claiming to be a molecular biologist used. It was very scientific and very dry. This is a little bit too artistic. If someone posted something like this, I would immediately think, ah, this is just a story from ChatGPT. So let's try to, let's try a little bit more. Be more specific about the details of the morphology and genetics of the aliens while using specific examples. And again, it, it takes this like artistic view of it. Deep within the secret government facility, I had the extraordinary opportunity to study aliens up up close. They were unlike anything I'd ever seen before. Their very existence, challenging understanding of life forms. Chad GPT, it, it tends to write it for a broad audience. It's not writing it from the perspective of a scientist. So let me try to be a little more, a little bit more specific. Can you write it in a dry way that a molecular biologist would use? Within the confines of a covert government facility, I had the privilege of conducting detailed examinations of the anatomical and genetic characteristics of extraterrestrial entities. The primary subject designated subject alpha exhibited a slender and elongated physique characterized by limb structures. In contrast, subject beta presented dissimilar morphological attributes. Let's see if we can get into the DNA, get any specifics here. In the case of subject alpha, the examination uncovered an unprecedented arrangement of nucleotides forming an auxiliary coding system intricately integrated with its DNA. Decoding the supplementary code suggested an advanced means of cellular communication and sensory perception, surpassing the limits of human biological capabilities. This intricate molecular mechanism implied an enhanced ability for information exchange at an accelerated pace. Okay, now we're starting to get a little bit closer, right? But it still sounds a little bit too narrative and too artistic and it's still not giving me specific examples so let's compare it real quick to what this whistleblower said about the dna genetics speaking of genetic engineering following sequencing of their genomes we notice the troubling and universal characteristic and the five prime of the regulatory sequence of each gene which we call the tripalindromic region the tpr are 134 bp sequences containing as it names as its name suggests three palindromes in genetics, a palindrome is a DNA sequence that, when read in the same direction, gives the same sequence on both DNA strands. They serve both as a flag and as a binding site for proteins. The three palindromes in the TPR are distinct from one another and have been poetically named 5P TPR, M TPR, and 3' TPR. TPR is composed in 5' to 3' order, 5' TPR, 12 BP space, or chromosomal address, 12 BP, and it goes on and on. The point being, this is very dry scientific technical jargon. And note, he explains when he needs to broadly and then goes into very specifics. So he says, in genetics, a palindrome is a DNA sequence that we read in the same direction. Chad GPT is not going to necessarily take out and, ex and explain broadly what a palindrome is and then drill down into very specific high level genetics. But let's see if we can get it to do that. Give me a very technical and detailed 
analysis of the genetics of an alien from the perspective of a molecular biologist. Let's see if it gives us any specifics about what the DNA looks like. All right, I think this might be the closest we can get to here. One striking feature is the presence of alternative nucleotide bases differing from the adenine, thiamine, cytosine, and guanine found in terrestrial DNA. These novel nucleotides, tentatively labeled as X, Y, Z, and W, exhibit distinct molecular structures and chemical properties. Initial analysis suggests that these non-canonical bases, bases might serve as functional components in transcription, translation, and genetic regulation processes. In layman's terms, all this is describing at this is that there's different alternative nucle uh, nucleotide bases aside from the ATCG that we know composes our helix, our double helix strand of DNA with these nucleotide combinations. So it's essentially saying that there's other types of nucleotides. That, to me, I don't know, that's not necessarily explosive as much as what this whistleblower came forward with, with a chimera of alien, human, and other animal DNA. But that's just me. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Am I getting closer or am I just fooling myself thinking that ChatGPT is not going to get as specific as I want it to? Let me know. The precise mechanisms of DNA repair, replication, and recombination in subject X remain an area of intense scrutiny. Furthermore, subject X's genome exhibits evidence of intricate recombination events and homologous recombination machinery, which may facilitate genetic exchange and genome rearrangement at an unprecedented scale. Okay, so I'm starting to get it a little bit closer, getting ChatGPT a little bit closer to sounding like a scientist. It still takes some artistic liberties at some places, but it's getting closer, okay? But I still can't get it to give me specifics. So we're going to say... Describe it to me in terms of a PhD level molecular biologist keeping making it as detailed as possible. Okay, so we get it a little bit more specific, but again, it's not it's not drilling down into the specifics. I even asked this to talk to me as if you were a PhD, PhD molecular biologist and I kill, still can't get any real specifics from it. It's still wanting to stick with, well, we just found new nucleotide combinations in the DNA strand. It's not coming up with anything like a chimera or any of the specifics of the palindrome, anything that unique that's outside of what we know as genetics. And that's where ChatGPT really fails. They're pulling in information from what we know about genetics. ChatGPT, to the extent that AI is able to right now, all it's able to do is pull in things that we already know. It's not very good at coming up with novel concepts that are outside of known science. And that's what I'm trying to get at here. If this was a hoax created with ChatGPT, the person doing it would still have to have a very advanced level of microbiology and genetics background to fill in all the gaps that ChatGPT just will not give me. So either they are much better at using ChatGPT than me and they have a advanced molecular biology background or this is maybe real. I don't know. All right, now one of the other things I wanted to draw your attention to here is actually something in the comment section. Now, I need you to take everything about this story with a grain of salt, okay? These are people in comment sections. I cannot verify these people's identities, but we are gonna look at it and read it. It sounds like some of these people actually know what they're talking about, okay? And I found this particular comment to be pretty compelling. I also have a biology background, and as others with bio backgrounds have pointed out, this dude knows his shit. If this is a LARP, it was a LARP done by someone who most likely has a doctorate in some aspect of biology. I have some further insight here too. Here's my educational background. I have a bachelor's of science in both biology and chemistry, and I did genetics research in a university setting for some time prior to deciding to go to medical school. I am a medical doctor and a board certified clinical neurologist. I am involved with a neurology residency training program, and in addition to my clinical duties, I also do neuroscience research. I have multiple published peer-reviewed neuroscience papers as well as one published study on genetics. What is noteworthy to me is that this guy absolutely fucking nails the molecular biology jargon in this post, but he repeatedly makes minor mistakes in medical jargon or gross anatomy. This supports his description of his educational background. People with doctorates in molecular biology have a good passing knowledge of anatomy and physiology, but nowhere near the level of a medical doctor. For example, he says things like there is no olfactory bulb in the nasal cavity, the olfactory bulb is not in the nasal cavity. It is within the cranium, separated from the nasal cavity by the crib, cribriform plate. And he uses the anatomical descriptor cranial when that would not be appropriate to use in describing a structure that is located on the head. 
He also incorrectly refers to a vertebral ganglion as the central nervous system, when that would be considered the peripheral nervous system. There's a lot of little things like that, but I could find no fault with the molecular biology and genetics in this post. That's basically what I would expect from someone with the educational background that he claims. Now, this guy also goes into asking some very detailed questions, and I'm not going to read all of them, but they're questions from the perspective of someone with a medical doctor that he claims that, again, way above my, way above my head. You would have to, if this is a hoax and someone who doesn't have this level of knowledge, they would have to play around with chat GPT like I just did for every single one of those sections of morphology and genetics and anatomy, each one of the excretory, digestive, pulmonary, all of the systems that he talks about when he talks about the morphology and anatomy of the aliens, you would have to go through and get chat GPT to get as specific as possible on each one of those sections before you could come up with something as advanced and cohesive as what this whistleblower has posted on this Reddit thread. So someone could have used ChatGPT to create this if they're much better and more creative with it than I am, and they have a molecular biology background to fill in all the gaps. However, you start getting back to that place where I discussed in previous videos where the logical steps and all of the things that have to have take, taken place for this to be a hoax, it starts becoming more unbelievable that someone that doesn't have the knowledge of all these things that this person claims to have could have come up with this. So let me know what you think in the comments below. If you think my use of ChatGPT is super basic and someone could have come up with a better story, please share it. Also, if there are any molecular biologists or geneticists that are watching this story, take a look at this. Take a look at this for yourself and let me know what you think because I'm curious. Some of this stuff, as I've expressed, is above my level. So let me know what you think in the comments below. If you think this is someone that can just use ChatGPT very, very creatively, can come up with this hoax, and all these things are true, and this is somebody just playing a prank on us, well, I guess that's a possibility. I'm not discounting it, but that's what I have for this time. So I'll catch you on the next one and stay tuned because we're not done talking about this story yet.